Hello people. So in this video, we're going to see how to generate or get to SHA1 or SHA256 key, which is very useful when you're using Google sign in or other APIs related to that in Android and web applications. So most of you, you will already have Java installed since you must be working with Android application already. But if you don't, you can go to this link, which is right here, and I will drop it down in the description as well. This link and you have to download the JDK and then install it. So once you have that, you have to go to command prompt and then you have to locate where your Java folder in your uh, PC or your laptop is. So I will locate it for my laptop. In my laptop, it is in um, program files and Java. Here it is. And I have the 12.0.2 version. So what you have to do is actually we have to go inside the bin folder using command prompt. So first I'll get out of these user folders. Now cd program files, get in the program files from there cd java, cd jdk 12.0.2 because that is my version, your version could be different, could be a new version. Inside this it will be cd bin. Now here I have to actually paste a command which I have here. right but as you can see it is it says path to key store so here you have to actually locate a path to debug.keystore and for most people you will find it in different places and you just have to for my computer you have to go from c users and then acer it could be your profile your name whichever you are or the admin and in dot android here you can find debug.keystore and this is the uh, path that you have to give so i'll just go to properties i'll copy the path i will paste it here and then let's write debug.keystore i'll add it there so i get the exact path so this is the exact path not even the relative this is the exact path of my debug.keystore and I'll put enter. It will ask your password and the password by default is Android. A N D R O I D that I will also paste in the description. See, it is this easy. Now you've got a SHA1 key. You can copy this. You have a SHA256 key. You can copy this as well. As you can see, there's some other information which is really relevant for us. So this was the scope of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please drop down your queries or if you have any feedback. Thank you so much.